Hello everybody, welcome back to another edition of the EcoStructure Machine Expert Training. I'm your host, Leandro Mala, and in this video what we're going to see is how we can change the firmware of the Modicon M262 using the Ethernet port of the controller or the mini USB port. So let's go to the presentation. So, so the idea here is to first have the, the machine commissioning maintenance already selected in the features tab when we have the Schneider Electric Software Installer that basically it has the control assistant that generates the files and also the gateway that allows us to connect using the Ethernet or the USB uh, of our laptop to the controller otherwise even if we have the control assistant if we don't have the gateway you cannot connect okay or if you have the machine expert and you don't have this you cannot connect so let's continue with this so in front of the controller as i can show you here okay you have one ethernet port ethernet port one and you have these two ports which is the ethernet port uh, ethernet two next to them you have the mac address okay i don't know if you can see them Next to them, we have the MAC address. This MAC address allows us to identify the default IP address. So if we full view this and select the uh, pan, okay, so you have Ethernet port 1 and Ethernet 2. Here you can find some numbers that belong to the Ethernet port 1 and the Ethernet port 2, which is the MAC address. So if we use the default IP address, we can complete this numbers over here depend on the port so if you are connected on the ethernet port one you should be able in your pc see the 10 dot 10 dot something something or the ethernet 10 dot 11 okay in my case for example i have the machine expert and it's connected to the ethernet port two and you have the 10 dot 11 dot 98 dot 141 okay which is the default ip address of this equipment okay so in this case if i select these two four digits okay and using the calculator you can have these two objects to complete the uh the ip address the same for the ethernet too okay this is how you proceed you just need to go to uh, the calculator just to calculator open the calculator over here select programmer in the x part you just need to uh, enter the digit 62 it should be the 98 in decimals you can see over here and if you select now the 8d it should be one for one okay so this is simple how you can identify the ip address of the equipment for the ethernet port one or two it's important to match the the same network okay that you're going to use in your laptop so if you open the control panel in your laptop okay Let me just move this to the other side. So you have the uh, control panel access. Then you need to access into the uh, doo -doo 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 network. What is the network here? Doo -doo 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 -doo. Network, internet options, network and sharing center. Here you should be able to see all your Ethernet boards okay available okay and using this one okay so now uh, it open the other side there we go here you should have the possibility to select properties and in the properties you can select the tcp4 and add the ip address to be in the same range other solution would be to add over here an additional address to be in the same range that you have okay there will be another solution so you can ping and try to connect to that particular device okay that would be one way to sort this out 
so now if you want we can try to ping the the ip address i have ping dot i mean it's the other way here ping 10.11.98.211 and it's working fine you can see over there okay that they have the connection to this device okay so this is another way you can use only this configuration that you have in order to match the same the same network okay that you have based on the subnet mask and then assign different numbers over here the same can be applied if you want to add the other network just go to the advanced settings and then add the new network that you want for the other ports okay and then you can ping and see that you have the connection so i have already try to configure this part okay for the ping there we go so now what we need to do is if we use the usb okay so let me just find the usb so here i have the usb cable okay and i'm going to connect it over here so this into this and i'm going to remove the internet cable so you can see i have only one connection uh, okay training i'm going to get rid of all this Let's see if i can see it over here okay that's why for it okay so what we need to do now with this one if you're using the usb okay is to check for this connection on your laptop okay so we just need to go again on our ports and see what we have you can see i have this connection change adapter settings here you can find this one and here you just need to match this configuration just to make sure that you should be able to connect which is the same one that I have over here in the background. So once you validate this, you should be able to connect to the to the controller, okay, or assign the AP address. So let's go back. Okay, this is the same process. The only difference is that you need to check this configuration. If I'm not wrong, this is the default configuration. Okay, but you can touch it. So now let me just go back here. If I'm not wrong the ip address if you're using the ethernet should be this one dot one okay let's see if in the machine expert it showed up uh, 200 dot one connection added this is the usb connection okay and you should be able to connect so uh we just need to remember ip address fast tcp and add the ip address over here manually okay to see it and connect so now that you have this it's time or it's now that you know that we have this possibility to connect it's time to select the control assistant to log in to change the firmware okay so update firmware We just need to select the controller that you want to use. Then we have the possibility to change the post configuration file for the Ethernet port 2, which is this two. Next. And then we just need to select write on controller, not the SD card, because we are not going to use the SD card. So once it's selected, we just need to check for the communication as I show you in the machine export side in order to connect. Okay. And then we should be able to make all the process just to speed the process a little bit up what i'm going to do is to remove the sd the usb and connect the ethernet cable so probably can speed a little bit up the process okay seems to be connected so let's try to ping the device again just in case so should be this one and uh, they have the communication so let's see what do we have now so um 
probably speed up a little bit more so basically if you try to connect okay select the device connect this message probably will show up in your laptop this is the certificate of the modicon m262 but before continuing with this let's open the controller assistant that is open on the other side let's just wait a little bit Oop. this side okay so update firmware select the controller that you want to use in this case is the m262 already selected and here the package next here we just need to use this for the uh, post configuration and this port that i have over here okay and going to proceed with next we don't need the sd card we just need to use the right on image controller and here we should be able to see the list of the actual controllers in our uh, selection so here i'm going to type the 10.11.98 or 141 and here we just need to do ip address fast and type again the ip address that i have used before is 10.11.198 141 connect here is the certificate that uh, that we are going to use in order to connect to the controller okay so basically we just need to validate authorize this with okay then in this case this controller has already um i have already sent the thing where we are sd card so it's going to be blank so what we need to do in this case is to create our users on the controller okay depending on the version that you have or machine expert or the version of the m262 that you have uh, the default should be administrator administrator if they're using the version 1.2 something uh with the first letter in capital in administrator administrator and then if you're using the version 2 dot something then you just need to create your own user and your own password so here which basically we just need to create our users okay if you don't know the users when you're trying to log in then the best way is to use the sd card as i showed you before so yes i'm going to create the user administrator because i'm just familiar with this administrator administrator there we go and straight administrator okay perfect so now that i have already created the users and validate the certificate we should be able to log in into the controller okay and we should be able to this one is just to reset the password okay it will ask me if i want to reset the password or not because probably you just need to update and then just send the controller back so yes alt f uh purchase the process device it's not connection you might have connection first okay so let me just do it again. Probably messed up on the process. Write the controller. Uh, fast TCP. Connection. Administrator. Administrator. Okay. Keep existing user rights. Okay. Yes. Alt F. And then the process will begin hopefully see so we send it all the package now so let's see the behavior that we have in the other side with the controller okay it's gonna be fast so you can see the christmas tree over there okay it's doing some stuff okay so now you can see that the mass was successfully uh rated so okay now the process has been done okay you can see the pills is booting up okay and let's see if i forget about something here administrators already oh, sprint this part we should use this one if you want to keep it or restore it okay in case you want to deliver this to another colleagues continue with this we have already seen this part okay 
just go to this view and you see this part with the process to download and then perform the update via usb so we have already covered all this process uh, as you can see it's very simple how to add device on the controller assistant via usb or ethernet so we have all the selection and everything so it's important to remember that uh, select this IP address for TCP in order to add the device that you want to communicate. And if you want to delete the user rights, it's important that you use the uh, SD rather than the Ethernet or USB in order to reset everything. Okay, if you forget the users. Uh, so this is it for the um, how to update the firmware of the Modicon M262 via Ethernet or USB cable. So thank you very much for watching this video and I see you on the next one. Thank you.